in this video we are going to discuss a numerical related to energy and power of a signal in the last class also we discussed a signal relating to energy calculation so there we we discussed a simple way to calculate the energy of a triangular signal generally to calculate the energy of a triangular so that is very typical why because the triangular signal definition uh, we are having a into 1 minus modulus of t by t like that and if you considered in the energy equation it will gives you more complex process so to simplify that there we used simple steps by cutting the diagram into two ramps so in the same way we are going to apply that simple procedure here also here we given with a signal to find out the energy so here also we are not going for uh, for the definition of the signal total definition of the signal that means we are not going to consider the total signal at a time but we are going to consider so each and every part individually so that means so here uh, before going into simple way or complex way first of all we need to consider the time periods of a signal to calculate or to consider the equation related to this waveform so you need to observe the time periods related to this signal why because we are having a couple of equations for energy and power in that one equation is relating to uh, the e, uh, whatever equations we are having that equations are for infinite duration and for finite duration which equation we need to use that is dependent upon the signal only so now see the signal this signal is from minus 2 to 2 only so here that means they given the signal uh, in finite duration to find out the energy so that's why i'm going to consider finite duration energy equation to find out the energy of this particular signal so what is the finite duration energy means minus t to t x square of t dt this is the finite duration energy of the signal x of t so if this is the signal x of t then uh, energy associated with this signal is integral minus t to t x square of t dt here we know that the limits are from integral minus 2 to 2 x square of t dt if you define this total signal at a time then it it will uh, provides you more complex process more complex solution so if you segregated into different different parts so you will get a very simple solution and very simple steps that means so by observing the diagram itself you can't say what is the definition that means uh, like uh, a triangle like a rectangle you can't give the definition directly without any process so that's why i'm going to cut this diagram from minus 2 to minus 1 this seems like a ramp and here minus 1 to 1 this is like a rectangle you just consider amplitude as one so uh, for example in diagram if they given uh, amplitude as one then minus one to one that amplitude is noted so from one to two again we are having a reversed ramp that means reflected ramp and shifted ramp so here we are having like this now so like that i am going to segregate my integrals also into three different parts why because my signal is having variations in uh, three different fields so minus 2 to minus 1 so minus 2 to minus 1 so this is a ramp that is also a shifted ramp actually we are having ramp from 0 this is the standard ramp with definition x of t is equal to t but here if you observe this ramp this ramp is shifted from t equal to 0 to t equal to minus 2 so that means this is shifted to some negative axis that means so how you can trace the equation for this ramp means you just equate t equal to minus 2 then what will happen so t plus 2 will be the equation of this x of t or x of t plus 2 so x of t plus 2 equal to t plus 2 equation for this ramp so if this is x of t this is x of t plus 2 so this x of t plus 2 is equal to t plus 2 that means this ramp equation will become t plus 2 so now in the same way we are having minus 1 to 1 so first of all we will substitute this t plus 2 here so t plus 2 here whatever shifted one is there that is the signal here so that we need to consider as x of t 
whatever x of t plus 2 signal is there. So, that you need to consider as x of t in the equation. So, that is why t plus 2 whole square dt you need to consider plus minus 2 to 1 is over. So, minus 1 to 1 you can notice a rectangle. So, here the amplitude is equivalent to 1. So, here the amplitude is equivalent to 1 that 1 square you need to consider that means so from minus 2 uh, 1 to 1 your x of t is equivalent to some 1. So, that 1 square you need to consider because we are having square for the signal in the equation. So, dt plus after 1 you are having limit from 1 to 2. From 1 to 2 how this signal is? This is also a ramp but this is shifted and reflected ramp. So, reflection is nothing but just putting minus. So, here uh, you need to consider the shifting. So, here if you want to shift to t equal to 2, how you will get the equation? Like this way, if you want to shift this ramp to here, so you need to make your t equal to 2. Then it will become, the equation will become t minus 2 and the signal become so, t minus 2, x of t minus 2 equal to t minus 2. This will be the equation of ramp. So, here this is the equation of ramp, this is the equation of ramp, but we do not require this ramp. So, we require this ramp to get to, uh, to uh, convert this type of ramp into this type of ramp. We need to reflect that ramp signal. So, to reflect that you need to consider minus. So, that is why you are going to get 2 minus t as equation of this ramp. So, now here I am going to substitute that 2 minus t whole square dt here. So, now this is equivalent to I am just expanding this integrals. Integral minus t to minus 1 t square plus 4 plus 2t plus 4t will be the equation. So, a plus b whole square formula a square plus b square plus 2ab means 4t. So, dt you need to consider for this. So, plus 1 square means 1, 1 dt means it is t. So, limits you need to substitute in this next step plus here also I am expanding 1 to 2, 2 square a minus b whole square formula you need to apply. So, a square means 4 plus t square minus 4 t dt will be the equation relating to this. So, here this integral also I want to solve here. So, now so, integral of t square, so that is equivalent to t cube by 3. Integral of 4, that is 4t plus integral of 4t, 4t square by 2. For each and everything, you need to substitute the limits in the next step. So, if you substituted these limits here, so 1 minus of minus 1. So, then in next step, it will, uh, it will become... Uh, 1 plus 1 that is 2 we are going to write in the next step. So, what about here? So, integral of 4 that is equivalent to 4t, integral of t square that is equivalent to t cube by 3 minus 4 t square by 2 that means integral of 4t. Now, here also I want to substitute my limits 1 to 2. So, now up to here integration process is over. Now, we need to substitute upper limit and lower limit. So, I am going to substitute my upper limit and lower limit here. So, if I substituted upper limit, so minus 1 whole cube. That means you are going to get minus 1 by 3 again. So, plus if you substituted minus 1 here, you are going to get minus 4 here. And if you substitute minus 1 here, minus 1 whole square that is plus 1. So, here for simplicity I am uh, going to cancel this 2 1s, 2 2s. If I substituted minus 1 here, minus 1 whole square that is equivalent to 1, 1 into 2, you are going to get 2. So, upper limit substitution is over. Now, I am going to substitute my lower limit. So, when I am substituting lower limit, I am considering minus of. So, minus of. So, here I am substituting my lower limit minus 2, minus 2 whole cube is minus 8. So, minus 8 by 3 plus or uh, here in place of t if you are substituting minus 2, this is also minus 8 again. And here if you substituted minus 2 here, this is plus 8. 
Why? Because minus 2 whole square is 4, 4 to 8 plus 8. So, you completed upper and lower limits here and here the value is 1 minus of minus 1 that is plus 2 and here the remaining thing is so here, here also you need to substitute upper limit and lower limit. So, 4 into 2 so that is 8 here so 8 plus uh, 8 by 3 so this is 8 by 3 8 plus 8 by 3. So, now minus uh, 2 to 4, 16 by 2. So, here also for simplicity, I am uh, just uh, cancelling here 2 to 4. So, if you substituted, so this is also equal to minus 8. So, now uh, after substituting this upper limit, I want to consider my lower limit. So, that is minus of 4 into 1. So, I am getting 4 here. So, plus 1 by 3 here minus so, minus, so this is equivalent to 2 here, isn't it? So, here minus 2, minus 1 whole square into 2, minus 2 you are going to get. Now, I want to simplify the total equation. So, here minus uh, 1 by 3, minus 4 plus 2. So, minus 4 plus 2 means it is uh, minus 2, minus, so minus of minus plus 8 by 3. So, this 8, this 8 are going to cancel. So, again here you are having plus 2. Next here you are having minus 8 and plus 8. I am going to cancel that and 8 by 3. Uh, here in this 4 minus 2 means 2. That 2 I want to uh, get it out. That means uh, it's become, it will become minus 2. Uh, next minus 1 by 3. So, like this if you are, uh, you are having. So, here you are having minus 1 by 3. So, now if you want to cancel anything you can cancel that means like this and here the remaining you are having is minus, uh, minus 1 by 3 minus 1 by 3. So, this will become minus 2 by 3 minus 2 by 3 plus 8 by 3 plus 8 by 3 minus 2. So, here totally how much will come means 8 plus 8, 16, 16 minus 2, 16 minus 2 means it is uh, uh, 14, 16 minus 2, 14 by 3 minus 2, so 3 to 6, if you subtracted 6 from here you are going to get 8 by 3. So, finally 8 by 3 will come that means the energy of the signal will be noted as 8 by 3. So, like this way you can get by you can get your energy by simple definitions. Uh, if you do not know this process of uh, cutting the signal, so then you, you can face some complexity how we need to define a particular signal how we know the definition because we are having just ramps and unit steps and triangles and rectangles. If you do not know any particular signal then you can cut and each part uh, you need to observe which shape th that is having. So, is there any shiftings needed and uh, is there any reversal needed then you just do like that and you just substitute in the normal equation you will get uh, your result in minutes.